Now we're going to talk about a new product today, a drifter item. And I've got them right in front of me. We've got four new lights. I think it's called pronounced Lucy lights. I'm really excited to show you these. Wait till you see some of the features that some of these lights have got. So the first one we're going to talk about is this one here. It's called the Lucy Core. See how adjustable this is. I could even wrap this around my arm like so. As you can see, it's got a fairly sturdy, rigid arm that's included with this. It charges by solar, but it also, if we open this up, you can see it's got a charging point there. So the arms are an adjustable silicon, up to 40 lumens. It'll last up to 12 hours on a single charge. Now, as I mentioned before, it can be charged via solar or USB. Lightweight at only 78 grams, and it's splash proof. Or well, if it's just a light bit of rain, it won't hurt it. Now it recharges by the sun. And a feature that I love is it comes with the USB charge lead. And this here, according to the specs I'm reading here, only takes one hour to charge. So the dimensions, it measures around 10 centimeters wide and it's three centimeters high. So it's very compact. So when you want to pack it away, you just basically loop the silicon arm around itself and that's how you'd store it simple as that. Now the next one I want to show you is this fella here. So Drifter's got something that's very similar to this and they're those puff lights. So this is a new one that's just been bought out by this company called Lucy. I hope that's how you pronounce, pronounce it. It's L-U-C-I. Now it doesn't have a USB port that you can charge it like the others. All the other three does but this one doesn't. But how you set this one up And there you go. And that's how that works. And it's got the straps on the top that you can unhook and they just clip in place like so. On the top, it's got your on off button, but it's also got this a set another button here where if you press that, it shows you the charge rate. I've had this out in the sun today and I know it's fully charged. So to turn on, it's just it got your little button on the top here. So you just switch it on like so. So again, you've got, I think, I believe there's three settings. So that's number one, that's number two, that's number three. The next one will be a flashing light, which they all seem to have that feature until we get to the string lights, which is slightly different there. And the next one is turn off. Now, say I've got it on the medium and you didn't want to cycle through the whole lot to turn it off. All you've got to do is just hold that on off button down and it'll switch off within two seconds. The diameter is 12.7 centimeters, which is about approximately five inches wide. So the height is approximately 10 centimeters high when it's deflated. When it's unflated, that is then down to about 3.8 centimeters high. So it's very compact and it only weighs 156 grams. So guys, according to the packaging that you see here, you can see they're very well packaged. It will charge from a discharge to state. It'll take approximately seven hours in direct sunlight to charge. It's got the battery level indicator, as I've shown before. Now it's IP67 waterproof rating. So of all the lights that I've got here, this one is the most waterproof. So you'll have no problems leaving this one out in the weather in the rain. And a full charge, a single full charge, will last up to 24 hours. Of course, that'll be on the lowest light setting. So the next one I want to show you is this one here. So this one's got a really unique feature. Let's just show you what you can see on the outside. And then there's something special inside I'm going to show you so shortly. So if we turn it around, so it's got the battery meter. So I put this on charge not long ago and I fully charged it. You got your light switch here, but before I turn that on, I'll show you something else. Now it's also got a solar panel on the top, and not just that, this one also, you can see this little latch in here, this little protected cap here. If you pull that out, if you have a look in there, see it's got a USB port there. So you can actually charge your phone off this one. So it's like a power bank. So those with your Wildlands rooftop tent, you could, you could take this up with you because you know how this has got like an approximately a meter or so LED 
light on the top there, actually might be more than a meter. You can actually plug that light into this and this will power that light. But if I flick over a little bit more, there's also a little charge point there. Can you see that? So this one also comes with the USB charging lead. So if you don't want to charge this in the solar, you can charge this off any USB ports that you've got in your, your battery system in your, when you're camping in your four-wheel drive. So I think that's a brilliant addition. You're out camping and it's raining for a few days and I know some places in the country at this very moment it's been raining for the last four or five days. It'll be quite a struggle to charge these lights. But the beauty with these ones is that you can actually charge them off your USB ports. Now the unique feature I want to show you about this. So this is called a string light. It's a pro string light. Why they call it a string? Have a look at this. Now if I turn this like so. So inside here it's got this lead. Every foot or so there is a LED bulb. You can see very nicely packaged and it also you can see here inside it includes the USB charging lead to see if you want to charge this off your batteries in your car. This will probably describe this perfectly. So we've put the sun on a string. I reckon that's probably a perfect way to describe this light here. So basically Hidden inside the expandable unit, Lucy solar string lights pack in 100 lumens into 10 nodes. So I'm just reading this off the packet here on an 18 foot cord. Along with mobile charging capabilities, single charge will last you up to 20 hours. As I've shown before, it's rechargeable by the sun or via USB cable. It's got a built in flashlight. So what I mean by built-in flashlight, so you can see a little light just here. And then if I go through the cycle again, you'll see all those individual nodes, those lights, will light up. And again, same as the others, it's got four different settings. It's lightweight at approximately 320 grams. It's water resistant. Now, last but not least, I've left this one till the end because it's one of my favorites. Very similar to the one I just showed you here. I'm going to set these up in the backyard tonight and do some filming out in the backyard. So I'll be able to show you exactly how these lights perform and how you can set them up. But this one here, the difference between this one and that one there is this is a colored light. So you can see it's got the very similar features to the black one. So you've got your little torch over here. You've got your waterproof enclosure here. So this is a rubber grommet. It is waterproof. So, you, so as I mentioned, this is you, no problems having this in a light rain or something like that. I wouldn't dunk it into water though. And again, you've got your USB port there that you can use to light up your LED light inside your wideland tent. And you've got your charge lead as well. And you've got your solar panel here as well. The biggest difference is with this one, the lights are colored. So I'm just going to read some of the specs off the package here. Solar string lights provide six colors of ambience across an 18 foot cord, powered by the sun. And with mobile charging, these lights are perfect for illuminating your space. As you see, it's six unique colors. So what are the colors? Okay, we've, so we've got violet, turquoise, green, orange, pink, white, and the other one's a flashlight. And there's also a color cycle mode. What that means, I'll show you that tonight, but it's brilliant. But basically it's a mode where it will just cycle through all the colors. It's great for like a party type atmosphere. Now it'll last up to 15 hours on a single charge. Of course it recharges via solar or USB port. The USB port is a quick charger, so if you want to charge in a hurry, it's much quicker to charge via your USB port. It's got 20 individual LED bulbs in 10 nodes. So all you do when you open this is twist them out. So see all these little bulbs, they call them nodes. Switch it on and off. It's just a matter of 
So that's your torch. So if we go here, and this, I believe this is your color mode where it actually cycles in different colors. So if you have a look at that now, so it's going through all the different colored cycles, but I'll be able to show you this a lot better uh, tonight when I've got it set up out the backyard. You can see all the individual colors. Now, if you click on the next one, you, go, you can go through and choose which color you want to use and it will remain on that color. And again, say you want to turn it off without going through the whole cycle, hold that on off button down and it'll switch off. So basically what you do is you unwind this, you tie this off, this end off onto a, anything you'd like, your pole, a tree or anything. And this basically will hook, loop over itself and hook onto the, the cable. So that's the hook that it comes with. So that basically they will then just hook over onto that cable. And when you finish, you just wind it back up, push it back in, twist it, and it locks it in place and makes it into a compact unit. Put it in the sun or whack your USB charge lead in it, ready for the following night. So I'm just going to take some of the specs off the packaging here. So guys, these are new. So there's some conflicting information on the website. I had a look at the website and some of the info given is not according to what it's, it's not similar to what it says on the packet, such as charge times, etc. So I'm going to go off these information based on what it says on the packaging. So as I mentioned, it's got six unique colors and it's got the flashlight and it's got the color cycle mode, which is great for your party atmosphere. Or if you don't even, you don't, even if you just want like a nice low moody light just in the background, and the front of your tent or under your annex, it's ideal for that. It's got an 18 foot cord, which I believe is about 5.7 meters if my memory serves me right. It lasts up to 15 hours on a single charge. Again, rechargeable by solar or the quick charge by the USB. It's durable, lightweight at 320 grams and water resistance to an IPX4 rating, which I believe is just a bit more over splash rating or light rain. And also, of course, it's got your battery power level indicator. So as I mentioned, guys, these are brand new. These are gonna be released on the uh, website at any moment now. If you jump onto the Drifter website, they may already be on there. Uh, if not, they won't be too far away. Now they'll be available from your Drifter stores or Drifter Stockton stores. If you don't have a store nearby, you can purchase these online at drifter.com.au. That's drifter, D-R-I-F-T-A, dot com dot A-U. So I'm now, I'm going to go out to the back of the yard and set up my medium hexatarp. And I'm going to tie off some of these string lights off between there and wait till it's dark. I'm going to show you guys just how well these lights actually work. I tested them out last night inside here uh, with the light switched off. And particularly this one here, though I have to say this is my favorite. I just love the colors on this. It's got the really nice bright colors on this. This one's brilliant to hang off a tree, uh, put on your table, hang off your, your light. You know the light stands that I showed you on one of the videos recently, the new light stands they introduced. You can hang this off and that. Same as this one, you can hang this off that as well. And this one you could hang off anything basically, just run a, a cord in between your poles on your, under your tarp and hang that off, off that. Hang it off the, your bar under your, under your awning, the vehicle, so a lot of them you can't actually side in. So the fact that you can actually unclip this one, like as simple as just doing that, clip it back in place, and there it is. Secure light, and you can see you see just how many, look how many LEDs it's underneath this. Now this is at the low setting, so it puts out a really nice light, and then you've got your medium, and then you've got your higher setting. And of course the next mode is your flashing. Click it again, switch off. But remember, as I mentioned before, at any stage, if you don't want to go through the complete cycle, just hold that on off button down. I'll show you now, for example, let's go to the medium setting. So if I just hold that button down, 
you'll see two seconds it switches off so let's cut to the footage of tonight and i'll show you these lights in use 